Mr. Sam Pitroda, he made uh, these remarks which could be taken as racist remarks because, you know, you talked about the color of the skin and all that. Would you be willing to put this off as, a, as an immature comment on, on our people? Or do you think there is a more sinister motive in his uh, statement? You know, look, he is not exactly a young person. So you can't say it is immature. Here is a person who's been around a long time. I think what he was saying probably is what is the talk in the circles which he inhabits, uh, possibly shared by people he has mentored. Uh, and I think, you know, there were two parts of it which were troubling for me. One, what you refer to this typecasting and uh, st racial stereotyping. I think that was troubling for me. Uh, the second was actually a sense that, you know, which the remark implies, that there are very different people, you know, and somehow somebody has put it together, it has taken some kind of effort to bring them all together to make India. I find that even more troubling because that is actually the colonial way of trying to define India, that, you know, it took some outside force, it took some external force or some uh, inorganic effort to put a country together. I think we have a natural organic unity. I mean, uh, to me, India is, is a civilization. It is, it is a, uh, you know, the, the, it's a belief system in a way. It is something which is, which is in our soul. It is in our, in our uh, uh, sort of spirit. And clearly, he doesn't share it. And I think when I hear Rahul Gandhi, for example, talk about, India is a negotiation. It's the same, uh, you know, the vichardhara is very similar. It is, you know, how can India be a negotiation? I mean, India is India. So, to me, this is a, this is a certain kind of thinking, a thinking which likes to, which is actually assumes we are in bits and pieces. Uh, and somewhere, you know, in their view, some ruler, maybe some family, somebody has, put something together. So I actually uh, found that, uh, uh, I mean, not just the first part of it, I found offensive. The second part of it, actually, I found very deeply troubling because that is why, you know, when I look back, I, I see, you know, why did the let 370 go on for so long? You know, why are they so uh, easy about uh, really, uh, why don't they protect national unity, integrity much more strongly? I think the answer is latent in, in that kind of attitude. But does Sam Pitroda speak for the entire party? No, uh, look, uh, it's not that. As I said, I think here is a person who expresses himself. You know, there's a saying that a slip of the tongue is a slip of the mind. So it's actually a mind speaking. It's a mindset. Yes. Now, who shares that mindset? Who doesn't? You know, uh, right. but I would, uh, I would only suggest a person who's been around that long this is clearly the mindset of a party and mindset of a set of people. Yeah, he has resigned as the head sure. of the overseas. Uh, uh, do yeah, you so when, you, when you screw up uh, of course in the middle to. of an election, I guess that's what you do. But do you expect him to apologize or do you expect the party to apologize? No, look, uh, I, I think the party has revealed its mindset. Uh, 